Okay, so with um, three trees, we expect three eighths of a tree, and you noticed that that actually was was less than. Was um, two with one. With one, yeah. Um, so it's interesting that that is uh, a little surprising, but also this was also the first case where it's, where the circle really. I think came into play because this last one is next to the first one. Yeah. So, all right. So, what what do you what do you want to do next? Well, I don't really see any pattern yet, but I do see a pattern in how how the cases sort of play out. Oh, okay. There's just, there's it's Pascal's triangle because you have one and then three, three and one. Yeah, that's right. And that added us up to what? Two. Eight cases. So eight cases. And so besides Pascal's triangles, are where you can see there there would have been eight cases here? Well, um there's we've got three things and each thing could either grow or not grow. Yeah, very good. Yeah, so each each tree either grows in the beginning or it doesn't grow. So each tree has how many choices? Has two choices. Two choices. And um, two times two times two is eight. <coughs> the other thing that's interesting, what, what do you notice about, is there any symmetry in this problem? Well, yeah, there's like symmetry across here, sort of. But you, you flip everything around so the ones become zeros and the zeros become ones. Oh sure, there's definitely symmetry in the way patterns can grow, but what about in the, in the, sorry I should have been a little more precise, is there symmetry in the trees? Like is one tree more likely to grow than any other tree? Mm, I don't think so. Okay, how come? Well, in these cases here, each tree grew one time. Each tree grew one time. Okay, so why why do you think that the trees should all be equally likely to grow? Well, if we're on a circle here, you can like rotate. Okay. Yeah. So that's actually this is the the one of the keys to solving this problem is noticing that symmetry. That each tree is equally likely to grow. And so what is what do you what does that mean we need to do to solve the 200 tree problem. Well, that means we have to figure out. I guess we're. Well, maybe we'll have something like here where we have each one it grows once, but in the higher up cases there'll be some that can grow with others. Yeah, absolutely right. It's absolutely right. The higher up cases aren't going to be quite as simple as this. Yeah. But they are going to be simple in one very important way, in that each tree is going to have exactly the same chance of growing. And again, yeah. why is that? Because we're in a circle here. Yeah, because we're in a circle. We have a lot of symmetry in the problem. Each tree is equally likely to grow. So how can we figure out for one specific tree whether it grows or not? Well... So let's say we've got our... 200 trees, and then we look at this tree specifically. Let's, put, let's pretend it's tree number 157. All right. <clears throat> We're going to try to decide if we can figure out whether or not this tree grows. Well, you'd have to look at you have to look at the trees next to it. Okay. So we're going to have to look at this pattern with our tree. The one in the middle. But then there's a. Then we have, we've already done this case. Okay, so what is the it's chance of this tree growing? Three eighths. Or. Well, no, not, not three eighths. There's, so, this tree would grow if these trees both died. So.
Well, that that's a that's a one eighth chance. Okay. That's right. How did you figure that out? There's a one eighth chance of this specific tree growing. Because this tree has to die. Uh huh. This tree has to die. Yeah. Which means this tree is forced to grow. Okay. And there's there's eight total cases with three. Uh huh. But each case is four. Each thing you're putting in here is forced. Ah, okay. All right, that's actually a great way of thinking about it. I need this case to happen, and that's the only case that works. Yep, and there's eight cases. And there's eight total cases. So there's only, for each individual tree, there's a one-eighth chance that it grows. And that's kind of the interesting thing about this problem. Uh, because it doesn't matter for tree number 157, you know, whatever tree it is, it doesn't matter what this tree over here did or this tree over here did. Yeah. The trees that are far away. It only matters the trees that are right next to it. It only matters the trees that are right next to it. So out of our 200 trees, what happens? Well, each tree is going to grow one-eighth of the time. Okay, so how many trees do we expect? One over eight to the 200. Because each tree is going to grow one eighth at the time, one eighth times one eighth times one eighth. Or is it not that? Well, let's think. Uh, we've already gone over five minutes. Let's think.